my husband's curse is out. Hey loves, you're welcome to my channel. I'm Sherry. I've got news for you people. Update concerning my UK relocation. I have both good and bad news actually. I don't know which to share first. If you've been following my videos, you understand my story better because I have really, really come a long way. So the update that I have for you guys, let me start with the good news. I have gotten my driver's license, my international driver's license. Hi, and my husband. So that is one of the good news. How much did I spend again? 30, I think 39. I'll put it on the screen for both of us. Yeah, you need your local, like your Nigerian driver's license to be able to do the international driver's license. Second news is that my husband's cast is out finally hey god we've sent mails upon mails reminding them that in nigeria it takes time like for the visa processing and all that it takes time and we don't have enough time again we are trying to enter by september august september we get school is started by september we kept on sending mails because we applied for CAS last month. I can't remember the date exactly, or last two months. But if you've watched my previous videos, it stated that the date we applied for CAS. So finally, we got the CAS today. Today is 8th of July, 2023. So we got the CAS this morning. <laughs> we got the CAS. They sent it since last night, though. So it was this morning that we saw it. So I am so, so happy. Ah, God, thank you. I give all the glory to God. So, and then for our proof of fund, we are still waiting for it to mature. It's about two weeks. So by next week, today is um, Saturday. So by next week, my husband will be applying for his visa so that he starts um, counting, you know. Ah, that is the update. Then the sad news. In my last video, I mentioned that my husband was to start his proof of fund, right? So the next day that he was supposed to start it, the CBN government, um, the CBN came up with a sad news that they want to take their hands off the foreign exchange. Like they want the Naira to float. I don't know how to put it, but then they just want to take their hands off it. What this means is that the exchange rate is allowed to determine itself based on the forces of demand and supply. Now, this simply means that demand and supply of foreign exchange now will detect the prices of Naira, of dollar, of pounds. <laughs> this means that there will be no subsidy on dollars, no regulated prices, and no capital controls. Previously, you know, the CBN, they were the ones who, who pegged the prices, who stated that, okay, this is the price for $1 is so so and so naira, two, uh, two pounds is so so and so naira. It was dictated, like it was fixed. If you go to the bank, you see that, okay, for example, $1 is 450 naira. Okay, that's that was how it was before. But now they've taken their hands off it, so it's just floating. It just depends on the market price, the demand and supply, the forces from the demand and supply. So based on that, honestly, it has affected us because we had calculated our our proof of fund to be around 17 million Naira based on the old CBN price. Yeah, which was around five something pounds, which was five something Naira. So one pound and the amount of money that we would be needing was like in total it was around 17 million naira. But now as I am speaking, dollar is up to one. Why am I saying dollar? Pounds is up to one thousand. It keeps going up and coming down. It's just fluctuating. There's no fixed price now. Today it goes up and tomorrow it comes down. As at three days ago, it was 1,000, 1,100 and something um, pounds. So that means, uh, so 
after we've calculated everything, now seeing the rate of dollar, what I and my husband will be needing for proof of fund is around 29 million naira as against the 17 million naira that we wanted to use as proof of fund. That's like 17, 18, 18, 18, 18. That's like 12, 12 million naira extra. See, my eyes are swollen. <laughs> it's not as if we kept this money somewhere, not at all. But then we don't have a choice. We just need to, you know, work, work it out. <laughs> we just need to find a way because we've already, um, we've gone too far. My husband is even regretting why I started the journey in the first place. At least the, the millions that he saved, he'd have used it to start up a business. So far, we've lost money. Like, we've lost more than 3 million naira in all this. As against what we budgeted, we just lost it because of this exchange rate. So, luckily for, for us, last week, the pounds dropped to around 9 something. So, my husband was able to apply for his um, proof of fund he, because we couldn't get that 29 million. So, we just did 24 million naira. But now, the pounds has entered 1,000 and something again. So we need that 29 million naira. And it's even more than 29, almost 30 million naira. And it's crazy. Like, honestly, it is crazy. So we had no choice than for me to load my own account. So I had to open another account. Yeah, because we used Global's bank to so deposit money in my own account. Like, so we loaded six million naira in my account he had to aid his own um, 24 million just to avoid stories so that would mean that we might not be going together again as planned because his own has gone more than a week now like close to two weeks ahead of mine i did mine yesterday it takes 28 days and my husband has gone more than eight days to get so that would mean he will be applying for visa first before me. We are not going to apply the same time again. So that would that might mean that we will not be traveling together at the same time. So I don't know how else to explain this, but I just hope you are, you are understanding what I am saying and you are following me because right now this baby girl is a choke. Choke, one lie. Ah. So guys, that's the update that I have for you people. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you picked one or two. But this is not the end of this old vlog, this old updates giving, updates sharing on my UK relocation journey. Okay, because we are not done and I'm, I don't even know my fate yet. I'm just being optimistic and hopeful you know on god i know god would do it i trust god so i want to use this medium also to appreciate everybody that has been following me right from time thank you for watching my videos thank you for subscribing because i do not take your love for granted honestly i am very very grateful so if you've not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for eh so kindly subscribe to my channel to join me on my relocation journey and my life's journey as a whole so i can't wait to share the finished that like the last video the celebration video and the final relocation video until then bye bye guys